Hi everybody! I'm here to show you the new updated tabletop duplication glitch. Um, it's an updated one. I got it to work with all of these countertops here, the one on the left being the garage one in the garage section. I was going to show you all the names, but these are basically all of them I could get it to work with. Basically, any counter that I had in my inventory that I can set an item on top of. So what I recommend is, I mean, it has to be a counter that goes up the wall like this. But if you can set an item on it, like just do a lineup of whatever wall counters you have like this. And any of them that you can set an item on. Um, try the glitch with that just to save yourself some time because you don't want to go through the whole thing of the glitch just to go to set your item that you want to duplicate on the countertop and not be able to set there, you know? Okay, so you're going to start. It's very similar to the other one, just a little bit off. So you're going to start your glitch with a one by four room like that. And then a three by four room. So just like this. Trying to, there we go. Okay, now you're going to put two televisions, two wall televisions. It doesn't matter which ones, and I'm actually going to use two different ones just to show you that you can use two different ones. So I'm going to use the black one, and I'm going to use that beautiful cherry-looking one. And you're going to want the backs of the TVs to the right, on the right side of the wall. That way your counter and your televisions are going to be back-to-back. So now pick your countertops. Personally, I don't know why, but I kind of like using the garage one. It's faster for me to get to. <laughs> Put two of them there. It's called the gray cupboard. Now just pick an item. It can be any item that is a tabletop, whether it's a decoration or a little plant. I'm going to use this pretty little purple table flower. And you're going to set it on the counter closer to you. So see, you have your two televisions back to back with two countertops. And then you're going to set your tabletop item on the counter closer to you. So now you're going to crop your room one square over and hit X to cancel. Don't hit the green check. Make sure you hit the green, or I'm sorry, the red X to cancel the um, task. And that will glitch your cupboards. Um, if it is not glitched, I recommend deleting both rooms, exiting out of edit mode altogether, and starting again. It should work. You want to make sure you placed the counters that you didn't grab ones that were already on your lot. So make sure, even if they were in your inventory, you don't even have to purchase them. Just... You have to have them freshly placed. I notice that the game doesn't really want to work if it's not a freshly placed item. So then you want to put a dining room table in the top corner like that. Now you're going to click your tabletop item and don't drag it because it won't work. You're going to click the bottom part of the table and hit the green check. So again, you just want to click the bottom part of the table. You don't want to drag it. It will not work. So now you're going to crop your room. You're going to crop up and get the flowers out of there or, you know, your, your item. So basically halfway up the table, you're going to crop to where there's one sliver and hit the red X to cancel that. You don't want to confirm it. You want to cancel it. Oopsies. And now you'll see that there should be two items. You never want to just assume that it worked. You always want to go to your inventory and make sure that it worked. And I see right there the purple table flowers. It works successfully. So I always delete these two because sometimes when I put them into my inventory, I notice that it kind of glitches stuff up. So I just delete them. And I'm going to run through this again. I'm going to edit or exit the edit mode completely and start from scratch. I noticed with this glitch, it doesn't always want to, like sometimes you can reuse rooms and stuff. With this glitch, it definitely did not like when I did that. So the 1x4 and the 3x4, 
And you're going to take two televisions, doesn't matter which ones, I'll just grab two of the black ones. And you're going to have the TV go up the wall on the right. And then you're going to grab two counters. I'm going to use this black loft counter shelves because I know that it works and it's one of the first ones that popped up. And I'm going to go to my inventory. Now you're going to want one or less items in your inventory of it or it possibly probably won't work. If, if something's ever not working, just make sure you only have like one of the item. Let's see. Were those burgers? Oh, hot dogs. Okay, we're going to duplicate some hot dogs. Picnic time! Alright, so you're going to crop your room one square in. So basically, you're just going to crop the item out. I guess that's an easy way to remember it. Crop the item, right, and hit the red X. Just always crop and hit the red X. Now we're going to grab a dining room table. I like grabbing the pink one because it's pretty. Put it in the top corner. You're well, trying to zoom in. You're going to click your hot dogs. Click the bottom of the dining room table. Don't drag. And hit the green check to verify that action. Now you're going to crop all the way up. And just think of it as you're cropping out that item. And hit the red X to cancel it. Whoops. So it'll look like it duplicated. You always want to check your inventory. Make sure it's there. And it is. So you're free to sell your items. Like I said, sometimes slipping them into your inventory, it kind of glitches some stuff out. So I just always sell them. Um, the two that are left in my room. I just always make sure that they're in my inventory first. And I want to... For anyone who didn't see my last duplication video, um, I highly recommend getting life orbs because when you sell them, they're worth so much. So bronze are 40000 Silver sell for 90000 Gold sell for 180000 And platinum sell for 300,000 each. So if you just achieve getting one platinum life orb and you duplicate that one orb and you have 60 over 65,000 of that orb and you can sell each one for 300,000 simoleons each, you'll literally just never struggle with simoleons again in your life. So I highly recommend if you're going to duplicate anything and also when you like when I build houses I'm sorry, when I build other people's houses, like I pay to have other people's houses built, sometimes I get really super cute, like, decorations, like this crystal ball and the peach flower vase. I don't have that unlocked. I don't even know how the designer had that, but I duplicated it, so I'm never going to have over 65,000 houses, so I basically have enough of that item for life. Like, if there's a lamp or something that you like... And it costs LP or it's super expensive. And, I mean, if you can put it on a tabletop, glitch it. Like, one of the most expensive lights that I liked. Let's see where he is. I think, I think it cost LP. It's this one right here. The sleek gray lamp. And I duplicated it. And now I never have to pay for it again. <laughs> so I hope this glitch helps. And thank you all for watching. Bye.